Hello you guys. So we're gonna eat some breakfast. She doesn't want to put the Nutella in her crepe, so she just ate it separately. Weird, Margo, weird. It's very, very happy. You don't want the chocolate in your crepe, so it's easy to eat, like this. I put here, okay? No? Yeah? Good girl. So hello you guys, uh, today I'm going to do a lot of errand, I'm gonna go to the water company because <laughs> they cut our water because the person that I trusted which is the person who are staying in my garage didn't pay the water bill for five months even though she is holding my money you know what I mean and she left me before I get to the Philippines and she left without saying goodbye without telling me that she's leaving she's very very responsible human being in this world <laughs> I cannot believe there's a lot of people like that in this world and the thing is she's my cousin <laughs> She's very very embarrassing for my end because I had to uh, have a family like that type of person and I tell her before in the past that and she knows me and I don't like that kind of attitude but guess what I guess it's true the saying that the person who will really uh, stab you is the person who knows you well and she just proven that totally 100% it's very very sad because I came here in the Philippines and if I know that she's sleeping I will not bring my daughter of course I can work because now she left me without saying goodbye without turning over all the paperwork that I asked her to do because I pay her salary and she has not done all of that she have not even registered all the cars that I asked her to register for all my um, ending one to three units I don't know if you have a car you will understand me but if you don't have a car you cannot understand of course but if you do not um, register your car every year you get penalized for that and she have not registered uh, my three ending cars which January ending February ending and March ending plate number so I have to pay penalty for that and I pay her salary to do, to do something but she have not done anything and she left without turning over all the documents and it's very very sad because I expect her to do that because of course that's her uh, job to do all the registration and go to the LTFRB and have a decency at least to say I'm leaving you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I will not stop people if they want to go but have a decent respect to people you know it's very very rude it's very very hard for me to understand why Filipino man sitting is like that is beyond me it's really really hard it's very very hard for me because this is not the first time I experienced something like this that um, they, they, they come to work with you they talk to you you tell them about their job and stuff like that and I think people when they want to work they just want to get a salary without working really it's pathetic they think working is doing nothing and just sitting in some office and not working it's just sad that they have their mind sitting like that but <laughs> I experienced a lot of that during my business here in the Philippines for the last 15 years so it's not new that I'm saying this I am I'm so fed up of people doing a lot of crap lately in my life like oh it's just too much for me it's too much it's very very hard for me to understand their thinking um, 
it's really hard. I'm Filipino, but I don't do that kind of stuff. So it's very hard for me to understand them. It's very, very hard for me to understand them, honestly. It just, I don't know. I wish I can understand them. I wish I can. I wish I can. I really do wish that I can understand how they're thinking that way. But it's very hard for me to understand them because no matter what, I cannot really understand them because I am not that. I will not leave someone when there's no one in there because you know during this COVID I did not let any worker come to work except her and the checker and both of them left before I get to my office because they already know that they've been doing a lot of shit so they have to leave before I get there so they cannot face their stuff that they make during I was not here in the Philippines for one year and of course I I can see them because I have a CCTV in my <laughs> business so I, I see everything that they do and of course she wasn't there in the morning she gave her job to the other guy instead of her doing it it's pathetic it's very very I'm, I'm very I'm actually angry because it's, <laughs> I cannot believe she did this to me and she said she left the money for our one-way collection in my safety deposit box but she, is not there I guess the money now has a feet to walk somewhere because the only one who has key is her and me so <laughs> and no one get in the house except me because there's nobody there in the house except me so I will not steal my own money it's really really stupid to do that and for the last five years that she worked for me she lost money and I don't know who stole it so now it's the last time that I guess the money in her hand will be gone because of course she will not be working with me and I'm so thankful to God really honestly that she left she showed me her true colors of all the stuff that been happening and she has to do this to me it's just sad very very sad and she is my family member <laughs> she's my cousin and it's very sad for me because I trusted her I pick her over my sibling <laughs> And this is what she got to me. So my siblings blame me. <laughs> like and my mother even blame. Why? It's your fault because you choose her over your fucking sibling. Well, my sibling left me before, so I had to pick somebody to help me out when I needed somebody. And during that time she was there, so now she left me too. Like everybody's trying to leave me shit. And when they cannot leech out of me, <laughs> they leave me. For me, it's very easy to be a responsible human being in this world. I've been responsible since I can remember in my life. And I've watched and seen a lot of people, witnessed a lot of people being irresponsible. And it's very, very hard for me to understand them. And to care a little bit also. The lack of care, responsibility. And they prefer to be more lazy and be irresponsible. I had no idea if they're happy right now. I'm blaming all the parents for the responsibility for their children because I am a mother of three and I realize that whatever your children is doing is about you you are nurturing your children you are teaching them everything when actually I send my kids to nursery the teacher says mom you at the house is the first disciplinarian of your children we are only the teacher and we just teach the education for the school but or some discipline for your children and respect and all of that is from the house it's not from us and um, I really really believe that because you know as a parents your children follow everything you do especially when they're young from one year to five years old they always follow whoever they're around with so if you are not a very good example they will follow a bad example if you are a good example they will follow you also as a good example so now I really blame parents for whatever their kids become and <laughs> some parents says well they left me when they become adult it's not my responsibility anymore for how they turn out to be of course yes it's true also but you as a parents has some big effect on your children when they were young and I don't think some parents really teach them when they were young because the knowledge of children is from one year old to five years old so if you do not nurture them properly during that time whatever their 
knowledge in the future is from you and whatever they do in life it's the parents fault and even me whatever my children will be in the future it will be my fault because it's me who raised them it's me who showed them the good and bad example and I'm very responsible that whatever they will become in the future it will be my fault and I will take that as really really my fault whatever they become I'm hoping that they turn out to be a good human being in this world every night all my prayer for my children is to turn out to be a good human being that's all I wanted them to be to help a lot of people and be a good human being in this world and to be successful on whatever they pursue in their life just be a good human being in this world to be a good human being in this world because it's very very important <laughs> to be a good human being in this world because you know I think to be a good human being in this world is really really important because you know if you're not good that means you're causing a lot of headache to other people's it is not fun for others to suffer from your shit you know it is not fair for this person because not all people are shit like you you know what I mean I'm not saying all of you <laughs> but a lot of people are like that though I know some people will get angry to what I'm saying because they cannot some people cannot accept the reality and cannot accept the honesty but I believe honesty is the best policy and I don't care if you're angry to my reality and the truth because at the end of the day that's the fucking truth you cannot uh, twist the truth you cannot you cannot it's just the way it is no matter what you do you either accept it or don't accept it that's just the way it is but to be a good human being to be responsible I think it's very easy thing to do and I really really wish people to do the same thing I really do wish because it's very very hard for me to deal with them <laughs> and I deal a lot of them irresponsible lazy and liar stoler and thief like oh everything i know the world is oh i know the world is a sinner but it's just too much lately i've experienced so many shit lately like somebody killed my brother and i had no idea why and it's been one year right now my brother did not get a justice i'm so angry because you know the people that was with him is not dead and my brother is dead and he said somebody shot my brother and why the fuck somebody shot my brother and he did not get shot it's just uh, beyond me like he said somebody fight with him in a motorbike and we tried to review the cctv and i don't see any fight in the road so he lied about it so it's very very hard for me to believe people right now in my life like i'm, I'm i've been very um paranoid with people lately i don't trust people lately i'm so scared to even put my trust on somebody right now in my life because even my own family betrayed me <laughs> like my cousin who left me without saying goodbye and now my money is gone also so uh it's very hard to trust people lately it's very 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 hard for my life right now to trust and uh, I have too many stuff in my heart that is very very hard I like I wanna cry right now honestly because <laughs> I know that and it's very very nice <laughs> I had no idea how a person can kill somebody like that like it's easy for them to take some people's lives like how can you do that like it's just sometimes very very sad to just think how people are just pathetic they just kill you for no fucking bad reason and it's very hard for me to, to believe it like how can they do something like that you know kill someone just like that I had no idea how to do that stuff. It's very hard for me to to think that stuff, to to find that there's a lot of very bad person in this world. It's very very hard for me to to believe that there's so many out there. I've been like too much. I'm I'm crying because I'm so stressed with my life. People fuck me back in port, and the government port also. My business is bankrupt because. The government doesn't open the fucking country and it's very fucking hard for me because 
<laughs> it's just too much. A lot of people are relying on me, you know, my family. I have to support my parents still until fucking now. So <laughs> if my fucking business is bankrupt, I don't know how I'm gonna support my fucking family. I have to deal a lot of stuff. I have children also that I have to send to college because I don't want them to end up like piece of shit in this world. So I'm trying to try try my best to really save money for my children. So at least if maybe they have education and they can finish college, they don't have to rely on me for the rest of my life. And um and <laughs> and maybe they can be also a little bit good human being in this world. And I'm just fucking hard because a lot of people are fucking like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really I'm not very very emotional person honestly just too much I've been so stressed lately just <laughs> too much stress until now it's very sad also because my brother justice is not been accomplished until now and the fucking police doesn't even do anything it just doesn't fucking do anything it's just fucking sad and pathetic it's very fucking annoying and pistering because they don't do nothing it's just like what is the fucking life of others just meaningless and no fucking word it's just it's just it's just the way it is like fuck you can just die there there's no fucking justice for you just it sucking sucks so bad it's very fucking suck so fucking suck so hard <laughs> And and the fucking killer just fucking get away with it. Like it's just not fucking right. It's just not fucking right to just I don't know if I can make <laughs> laugh in here. It's, I don't know if I can make live here. I, mean, I think I cannot live make live. Is it one way or two way? I had no fucking idea honestly. <laughs> I don't come here in the city often and I, I have my video so I cannot use my voice. I, I do not go in this colon area. I, I I always use ways. <laughs> I do, I'm not very familiar in the road in here, even in the Philippines. I mean in Cebu. I've been driving here in Cebu for a very long time since 2013, but I'm still not familiar in here. <laughs> I still get lost and <laughs> I'm crying. So I am gonna go to the water company <laughs> and pay our water bill because <laughs> I have to pay for that. <laughs> I don't think I can. <laughs> I know I cannot go there. Fuck. I know I cannot go there. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> I have to go here. I cannot go there. I went. I tried it last time. I came here la last week on Friday, but they close at. I think. 3 o'clock so I miss it because I arrived like 3 30 it's too early and they already closed pathetic all you do is do nothing just do nothing and close after 3 o'clock like I don't know how you're gonna accomplish something when you close very early but anyway there's nothing I can do right <laughs> I'm just another one person against the world <laughs> hello you guys I'm back in my car because I get um number from the MCW which I went to MCW which is the water company here in Cebu and the number that I have is number 99 and they're only calling when I went there the first time is 1846 now they're calling number 60 and I already went to the bank and when I went back to the MCW the number is number 60 so I still have to wait 9, uh, 39 more people <laughs> and I have not eaten my breakfast. It's already 12.55 in the morning, afternoon. So I'm gonna have my breakfast and lunch at the same time. So yeah. After my emotional <laughs> cry, outcry. After my emotional outcry earlier. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, <laughs> it's been so much lately for my end. That's why I'm like, I'm dying with stress. And it is not me who causes the stress, honestly. It's, pe it's people who cause stress on me. So, it's sad. I will go to Malapascua and have a vacation of my life because life is short. Even I work so hard right now, I don't know if it's worth it to work so hard while the others are very, very responsible. So, I'm gonna take me a vacation because <laughs> I need a vacation time. I need to go to the beach. So, I'm going to the beach. My daughter 
I'm just finishing all the stuff that I needed to do and then I'm gonna go to the beach and hang out there for a few days and just take it easy for myself because if I keep working hard and then I die I don't know who is gonna do it for me <laughs> my children is still uh, toddler and preschooler so I don't think they can be safe right now I had no idea but anyway I had to take it easy for myself at this time of my life so yeah <laughs> let's eat my oatmeal my, my breakfast and lunch I have other stuff to go to but the thing is if I remove from my parking space I might not find a parking space availability so <laughs> I have to stay here <laughs> I want to play this and then I get to know this. 